Hello you guys. I think that this might be the start of our labor and delivery vlog. Backstory, I have been contracting on and off since 4 p.m on the 29th but on the 29th they weren't hurting at all like there was no pain behind them like i think they were just braxton higgs but there was just like a lot of braxton higgs yesterday pretty much most of all of yesterday like i was still like just like they were irregular there was no pattern to them but i was still having those same kind of contractions and then last night around like 9 or 10 p.m they started hurting and i was like oh like it all came back to me i was like this this is this is a contraction and they're hurting in my back they're hurting in my front like they're hurting everywhere so i definitely think that this might be the might be the beginning because now here we are today i've still been contracting all day i've been timing them all day they'll be consistent for a little bit and then they'll kind of stop for a little bit but not like too long like the, i still have like a, a lot within an hour but anyways the intensity is definitely increasing ouch he's moving right now but yeah, you guys, I think this might be the start. I think there might be one starting. Anyways, I just needed to at least start this video because if it ends up being labor, it'll be fun to look back at. So right now it is December 31st at 3.30 and I have been having painful contractions all day. So we will see where this goes. If it doesn't turn into labor, then I probably won't use this clip but I think it is. So I'm gonna try to start filming some of my contractions, but we'll just see. And we'll see if they get like, I've, I don't know, like I'm kind of waiting for them to get a little bit more consistent before I'm like, okay, like I think this is early labor, but they're definitely painful now and increasing in intensity. So I definitely think it is the, at least the very start. So I'll update y'all in a little bit on how they're going. <laughs> I'm already starting to get to the point that's like frustrating because I have been having painful contractions all day that just aren't getting close enough together. But these are like real contractions, like it is not the Braxton Hicks. <sighs> one might be starting. Oh, I definitely think that one is starting. Oh, see, but like, oh, when I get them, they hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. I mean, like, ow, oh, it's kind of consistent, like, because it was 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 11 minutes. Whew. That one hurts. I just feel like it's going to be a long night. It's already been a long day. I think it's over. That one was a minute, and that one was strong. Okay, so update. Literally not sure what the heck my body is doing, but um, let's see. So recap, I started having contractions on the 29th. They were birthed just like Braxton Higgs. Had those for like 24 hours and then 9 or 10 p.m. on the 30th, they started to get painful. And then yesterday, the 31st, all day I was having painful contractions. They were typically like seven to 10 minutes apart. Like that was pretty much the range that they were in. Literally all day, all day. And then I went to bed. I woke up like my maybe like, I don't know, four times. I don't know, I woke up a couple times to a contraction. But then this morning so far, like nothing, literally nothing. I really thought that like last night it was just gonna like keep progressing. I don't understand. I really don't understand my body. I'm a little bit frustrated. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. I'm pretty frustrated and also just confused with my body and I just like don't really know what's going on and why it just like stopped. But yeah, I just, I guess needed to update because I don't know what the heck is going on, but I just really want, at this point, I was telling Charles, I really just want my water to just break and just no questions and then it doesn't even matter. We just go to the hospital and then that's that. That's what I want, so. I'll keep you updated, I guess. Okay, minor update, but update nonetheless. Right after I took that clip. Right after I took that clip, I went to change and there was a whole lot more mucus plug in my pants and in my couch, so. Maybe it's the calm before the storm. What do you think? Why are you blinking like that? <laughs> what are you doing? You're being silly. You say ha 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 ha. Do you want to be big brother? Do you want to meet the baby? Ooh. 
I feel like I have like no time. I feel like I'm about like, I'm just like bracing impact always. Like I know I'm about to get another one. Huh? Yeah, hungry. Oh, well maybe you should get some salty fries. Yeah, what if I just run up to McDonald's so it's Ew! Fun. Oh my god. My back hurts so bad. Oh. Gosh, no, I think that that's one. I think that that's one. That one's four minutes and 19 seconds. Oh. Mmm. Surprise if you can make that one. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ow. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try to update you guys. I'm gonna try to give you a for real update before I get this next one. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't know what the. Ow, I feel like I'm still. I feel like I'm about to get one though. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, no, that feels like one. That feels like one. That feels like one. Ah. Oh, that's definitely a contraction. Oh, okay. So I've said okay about a hundred times. I don't know what the last thing that I filmed was, but basically all day has been more of the same of like, they'll be consistent for a little bit and then not consistent for like hours and then consistent for like maybe a couple hours and then not consistent for a while. Like it's just been like a lot of like, I guess prodromal labor, um, but they have gotten so painful. And I guess they're pretty consistent now. Like we're, we're getting there y'all. They were like 10 minutes apart and then they're working their way down and they're like eight minutes and then seven minutes. Our average frequency now is almost five and a half minutes. So we're, we're getting close. I don't want to get excited though because I feel like every time that I get excited is when they stop. And I need to get up and keep walking my circles but I just don't even know. Like I'm constantly just like trying to change positions to make it more comfortable and my lower back hurts so 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 bad so bad but i am literally 310 million percent confident that i'm in early labor right now and that these are real ass contractions these literally hurt so much worse than my contractions that i had with bentley and that's probably because i literally got the epidural at two centimeters with bentley i have no idea how dilated i am right now or what's going on cervically but yeah these definitely hurt a lot more so i'm either more progressed than i was with bentley when i went to the hospital or i don't even know but i have just been contracting all day and all day yesterday so i really freaking hope that this is it and that i'm not gonna be in limbo anymore i keep questioning like when to film or what to film so i don't know i guess i'm probably just gonna do a bunch of like trying to catch my contractions on camera just for like how I'm coping with them because that's what I always like hated not having anything to look back on my first time I was always like damn I can't even like see how I handled the contractions probably not well if I got the epidural at two centimeters but I feel like I'm due for another one to hit me soon I think it's I think it is I definitely think it's building should I click it I'm clicking it it's building it's building that's that's that's, oh, that's three and a half minutes. Ooh. Some positions hurt more than others. This one's not as bad. Okay. I'm going to turn it off for now. And I'll turn it back on. For more contractions or for another update okay it's the morning i made it through another night oh barely i woke up so many times so many times so many times
contracting and then I've been up now since like 5 a.m. Very much so contracting and they're pretty much seven to eight minutes apart lasting a full minute and painful as fuck. They hurt so bad. They literally hurt so bad. So Charles said at the very least we're gonna go check today and see what's up because they appear to be hurting a lot more and I have been contracting for like three days. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. So we're just gonna see what's going on. There's any progress. I don't know when. Not right now, but oh yeah. I'm gonna put lashes on because who knows? Maybe we'll end up having a baby today. Ouch. Either way, we're gonna go to the hospital and get checked, so I'll look presentable. He needs to take a shower. We need to get car seats switched and stuff, all of the just in case stuff they've been hurting pretty freaking bad i'm worried that now that i'm like up and getting out of bed and stuff i'm worried that they're gonna like stop again but we'll see oh yeah it definitely is oh it's so hard to breathe and not tense up ah ow 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 Oh. oh, see, I think that, ouch, I think I started that one a little bit late because I was second guessing myself. <sighs> Only by like 10 seconds. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Go to the hospital. <laughs> that makes me laugh. It said that at one point last night too, and I'm still cooking, so. That's because the last four have been under six minutes apart. That's why I said that. It's 8.25 in the morning. My mom said, so maybe today? Guess we'll see. I texted her earlier. I said morning. I was up a million times contracting painfully. Now still having brutal contractions. They just need to get closer together, but oh my gosh, I'm hurting. Also, how cute are the boys while I'm in the bedroom dying? And I sent one of the pictures. And she said, so maybe today? Guess we'll see. I said, likely today. She said, I was not contracting all night, but didn't sleep well. Should I say that you think she should come over soon? Yeah. Okay. Can you turn that down just like a little bit? That's just... Ouch. I think I'm getting another one. Ouch. I think I am. Ouch. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Ow, 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 We gotta get our shit together. I gotta get my shit together. I gotta put lashes on my face. I can't be looking like this. The way my lower back is absolutely destroying me. They're gonna send us back home. Unless they don't because I'm literally due tomorrow. Do you think they'll just keep me? Because I'm due tomorrow. Not if I'm not in active labor. As my contractions are five minutes apart. You were not in active labor last time. Though. I know, but they could have just been bored. Last time was just such weird circumstances. Like, I feel like nothing is comparable to that because it was just weird. Ow, oh, am I getting another one? How is it weird <sighs> compared to what it was? Just because it was in the middle of the night? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Okay, I'm going to stop this for right now. <sighs> oh my goodness. What you doing, bug? <laughs> Uh, oh, I want to put lashes on. Mama's going to miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the situation. We're going to the hospital because my app yelled at me five times to go to the hospital. So we're going. And him. He also thinks we should go. I just don't think that I'm gonna be dilated enough and I'm gonna laugh if they send us home. But also I'm due tomorrow, so they may not. I'm nervous, leaving the boogie was difficult. And I'm like, ugh, I just hate, like I don't even know how long we're gonna be. I could be back in like three hours or I could be gone for three days. Oh. 
It's just like not. We still stop at Duncan. Oh, I'm definitely getting one. I'm definitely getting one. Ouch! 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 Ha! Oh! How? Oh my God! It's so hard not to tense my lower body. Ow! How? Ah! I mean, Duncan's like on the way now. Maybe not. You can, I just don't think I want anything. Ow. 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 Okay, I think it's over. You know, something else that's a little bit different about this one versus uh, versus with Bentley is I feel like, I mean, I don't know, I'm not even really feeling my belly on this one, but I feel like I had to like kind of let go of like this stereotype that it's supposed to be rock hard and stuff like that. Like I've had to put more trust in my body and what I'm feeling. Cause like, you know, anyways, we're going to the hospital. We'll see what the heck happens. <laughs> I put my lashes on, focus. I put my lashes on. I need to put chapstick on. My lips look crusty. Oh, that's not in focus. What's new? My lips look crusty and a little dusty. You know what looks dusty? My hand, because I tried to do self-tanner yesterday. <laughs> Didn't wash my hands after, so looks bad. I was telling my mom, I think it's so funny how like the in-between of contractions, and you're just like totally normal, and then like your world is shattering, and then you're totally normal, and then your world is shattering. Anyways, I'm gonna turn this off and listen to some freaking Hannah Montana, so. How are you feeling? Any thoughts? Any questions, concerns? What do you think I'm gonna be dilated? I think I'm gonna be- At least a four. I think I'm gonna be like maybe a two. <laughs> I've been contracting for three days and he is so sure that I'm gonna be so dilated. I just don't think so. I feel like my coochie would hurt more. My contractions hurt, don't get me wrong. Them bitches be hurting, but like my coochie, I feel like it would hurt more. I'm nervous. Well, we're at the hospital. She's changing. Oh taking a urine sample. Oh, oh, you know, oh, getting oh, ready oh. to get checked out here. Oh, uh, I can't open so, it. Just kidding, I got it. We'll see what happens. Can you see my booty? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I just like, I cannot lay down the actual thought of sitting in that thing. I gotta stay like moving and pacing. I just feel like they're non-stop. Oh, I feel like I'm literally getting another one. I don't know. You getting the shakes? No, I'm just oh. like trying to distract myself. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, it's fine. It doesn't even hurt. Doesn't even hurt. No. No, you can't feel anything. Mm. Yeah. Right. It hurts. No, it doesn't. Take it all back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to try to hurry because they're gonna come right back and put the IV in. But I'm freaking four to five centimeters. I literally. They said they're calling, so I guess they don't. But they're pretty sure they're admitting me. I'm four to five. Like, oh, four to five centimeters, eighty percent of face. They said, and then they said a whole bunch of shit that I don't know. You're so not discreet. They're gonna walk in and that's so? embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Go like over there or something. <laughs> so, that's embarrassing. so weird. Well, we're getting admitted. Did I say that? I don't know if I've said that. I don't that. know about. We're getting admitted. I'm four to five centimeters. I'm 80% effaced. It's time. I'm in shock. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. No, I haven't had a stroke. 
Uh, yep. Filling out paperwork and then um, we'll be going upstairs. And then I'm going to get to put my cutesy pootsy labor gown on. Ow! All right. Uh, I'll date you later. I hardly even look pregnant. <laughs> oh god, 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 god. Ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh. I mean, I could be like right here. Oh. Mm. Ow, 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 come here, come here, wait, push on my back, push on my back. <laughs> Yeah, that helps. Ooh. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. I just don't know if it's if it's worse like this. Ugh. It's so nice in between them. The scream I scrumped. I'm so excited, OMG. <laughs> That's a funny, funny comment. <laughs> the in-between is so peaceful, like in between contractions. Where is my mom even gonna sit? I guess over there. It's just gonna be so weird having her this time. And it's gonna be weird pushing with her. <laughs> Here's the thing. This shit hurts. <laughs> oh, dude. That shit got me so wet in. That one, that hurts so bad. Those two, I'm scared. I know I can't possibly have much time before it's happening again. Oh my God. I don't even wanna know what that shit feels like when your water breaks. I hope that I'm allowed to eat a pop tart. Should I have asked? Mmm. I think it's happening again. Mmm. 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 Lord have mercy. I think it's calming, calming down. But it could just be because you're doing that. Oh. Good. No. But yeah, sometimes you're not supposed to eat in labor because like if they have to rush me back for a C-section, it has something to do with anesthesia. And I think the epidural too. That's why I'm gonna eat this shit and then I'll be like, oops. Dude, that last one on the ball though, that was horrible. Is there any update to give other than that this shit fucking hurts? <laughs> I get checked in about 30 minutes. It has not been 30 minutes since she said that. Okay, 45 minutes. Yeah, it has been 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get checked and we're gonna see if there's any progress. Um, Most likely, it's Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to decide. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Mm, I don't like how close they're getting. Ah. Uh, Can you go higher? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, they actually do that. That's better. Ow. Can you do it more on my hips? Like, my butt basically think you're funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I think it's better. Good? Yeah. I'm like scared to stand up. I don't even think it's a good idea. <laughs> Ow, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Dude, I feel like it's just not ending. Should I get an epidural soon? <laughs> it's gonna be night and day. I'm so proud of myself though. Do the rubbing, do the rubbing. Lower this time. Mm. I need to breathe. Oh. oh, ambulance. Oh no, son. Good? Yeah, for like 20 seconds. 
Oh, I had said before that contraction, I was trying to say that I'm so proud of myself because I made it to my goal. I just wanted to make it to five centimeters this time without the epidural, and I did. Yeah, because she was like four or five. Yeah, and they were saying, like, you're halfway there. Like, oh, come back. One's starting. One's starting. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 higher, higher. Ah. Oh. Don't push so hard. Ow. Oh. 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 Okay. So Oh god, I think I'm literally gonna get another one. Na, 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 na. Hey. Okay, so she just got me hooked up to the IV because I'm getting them with a freaking epidural. I made it as far as I care to make it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the epidural in like 20 minutes ish. I hope I can sit still for it, honestly. Oh, I hope I can sit still. I don't think it's gonna be worse than with Bentley because you were like. Oh my god, I haven't had the shakes this time. It was also like fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. Though. Uh, yeah, but I, maybe it was and just it was nerves. Your first baby. Maybe that was really just nerves. Was I that nervous? You were pretty terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're like, yeah, yeah, upper girl. That's crazy. Yeah. It was already hurting. Like how I feel like this is. This hurts. But like also, I don't. I just. Props to everybody who can and wants to, but I have zero interest in feeling what this shit would feel like after my water breaks. Oh, oh can you come here? Oh. Oh. oh, God, ow, 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 ow. Okay, I feel like not much else to say until after I get the epidural. Ow, I feel like it's literally still. Mm. Oh. Oh, I can't. Don't rub it, push on it, yeah. Ah. Oh, this is one of the worst. Oh, this is one of the worst ones. Oh. No. Okay, listen, I'll check back in um, eventually. I don't know. Okay, okay, here's the thing. I got the epidural and I feel great. Um, she just checked me. I'm six centimeters, so I made it to six centimeters by myself without the epidural. I'm so proud of myself because I got the epidural at two centimeters with my first, and I'm six centimeters. And she said that she could stretch me to a seven. She, we're not, but like she could. So, anyways, we're probably gonna have a baby before we know it. This is gonna be crazy. I'm glad my cervix isn't getting stuck. Like everything's going like so well. I'm shook. 
Anyways, I'm super happy that I made it to six centimeters without the epidural. And now I got the epidural and I'm happy and I'm proud of myself and I don't feel pain. Yeah, what are you doing? What do you want? You're just on- All my phones. Now we wait. Now we relax and we wait. Oh my gosh, also getting the catheter spooked me. I kind of forgot you have to do that. Like the poop, like the, the pee catheter. Mm -hmm. Spooky. You can't feel it, but it just spooks me. Oh, it's just so nice having the epidural. It's just so nice. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. Is there anything else to say? Oh, I kind of got the shakies a little bit. Just a little bit. Nothing like last time. Last time I had the shakes so bad. So bad. Oh, I kind of cried while I was getting my epidural. Not like, like cried like me, but whenever I was getting the epidural, there was, I had a contraction right in the middle of it that I had to just sit super still through and my body just made my eyeballs cry. So that happened and it was painful. But now I feel nothing. My legs are so numb. Oh my gosh, like I can move them barely, but they're so numb and it feels so weird. Anyways, that's the update right now. What even time is it? It's three o'clock, 2.59, it's three o'clock. Just got the epidural. How this, I feel like things have gone fast, but they also haven't. We got here at like 11? 11, 11. <gasps> yeah, we checked in at 11, 11. That's crazy. Oh, and I don't even think that I've told you guys this. The triage room that we were put in was the same room we had Bentley in, or not had him in, but the same room they put us in for Bentley. And this labor and delivery room that they put us in is the same room that we had Bentley in. So everything's going good. The only thing that's like not like according to quote unquote plan is that my OB is not the one on call. But I don't have a problem with the OB on call. It's just not my OB. But everything's going good. I'm so happy. I'm so nervous. How am I supposed to push a baby out? I like, I just need to not think about it. If I think about it, I'll get scared. I'll be here. Well, maybe I'll just watch TikToks. I haven't been on TikTok all day. Welcome to having a baby in 2023. It's 2023. It's January. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay. I'm putting the camera away. Y'all, I'm being so for real right now. I'm so fucking itchy. I'm so itchy. Like, I think it's mostly on my arms, a little bit on like my chest. I've been itching on my chest a little bit. I'm so itchy. It's an epidural thing. They don't, I feel like people don't talk about that though, but it's like a side effect of the epidural. And I didn't, like I had it with my last one, but I forgot about it. But it's kicked in and I'm itchy as fuck. But I'm pretty sure that once like the epidural is turned off like afterwards, I think it stops quickly. But if I'm about to be itchy for the next few hours, that's gonna suck. Oof. Oh, we just FaceTimed with the boogie. The yummy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the yummy. I love you. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? And also my dad just got to our house to take over watching the buggy. So my mom will be here before we know it most likely. Um, so that's sick. Otherwise I'm chilling. He just got Cheez-Its and he's eating Cheez-Its. I cannot eat, but yeah, I'm itchy. That's what's going on. I'm itchy. Look at my arm. I'll show you. Hold on. Let me turn around. So there you go. Do you see all of the itchiness? Because, especially because of this blood pressure thing right on my arm. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop itching. Ugh. Okay, so yeah. update. I'm laying this way now. I don't think I was laying like this the last time. Nope. I'm laying like this. Um, I'm seven centimeters now. Still pretty much 80% effaced waiting on my water to break. Still no Pitocin. We're still natural other than the epidural. Yeah, cause sheesh. Cause <laughs> I'm a burrito all wrapped up in a Christmas blanket. I'm on Pitocin now, figures. It's okay because it's less invasive than breaking my water. So we're doing a little bit of Pitocin to see if I can start progressing because it's stalled out and we don't want baby to get stuck like Bentley did. So, Pitocin, 
I'm contracting every two minutes, she said, so. Mm. Some of us are vlogging here. <laughs> so she doesn't think that we'll have to up it, but we'll see. And then she's gonna check me again in like 30 minutes. And your doctor is delivering. Checking in in 30 minutes to see if I've progressed. I got the shakes real bad and we switched positions and my epidural is not entirely working on the right side right now. So hopefully it starts working again now that we moved. But I kind of feel it and it's not fun. Eight centimeters, nauseous. I blinked. Yeah, I'm eight centimeters. My water bag is bulging. Probably about to bust. I feel like shit. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, did I tell them that my epidural wasn't working? Uh, did I tell them that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, my epidural stopped really working. Oh, I think so because you switched over and that's what we did. We had to push the button and then it wasn't working and so then we got flat and then we're sitting up and then sitting up made me feel woozy. Yeah. So now I'm sniffing an alcohol pad. Eight centimeters though, close. Almost there. Should I give it a couple coughs, try to break my water? <laughs> Are you even looking at the framing? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Fear in it, it's beautiful frames, sweetheart. Oh, sweet lady. Wow. Thought I was the one drugged up, which got you feeling so nice. You better not be able to see my nippies. <laughs> Weight guesses? I'm gonna go seven. I'm gonna go seven. <laughs> Actually, he, yeah, he was in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna say like seven eight. You think he's gonna be seven eight? Yeah. I think he's gonna be Cause he was in there longer than Bentley was, so I don't have an exact number, but I'd say between the seven and eight. Oh. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna break eight. I don't know. Denise? I'm gonna say seven pounds, five ounces. Hmm. My final answer. Final answer. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll see. Get mad, get mad, get mad, get mad. Arms way up off the bed. Eight, nine, ten. I 
know it's a lot of stuff to remember. All the time. <laughs> You're doing great. So you have a really prominent tailbone. Did you? There you go. Two. There you go. Three, right in your bottom. Four. Five. Hard, 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 hard. Get mad, get mad, get mad. Eight. Nine. Ten. Deep breath and come right back. Deep breath. And push. There you go. A little more, a little more, a little more. You can do it. And I personally think that it's higher than my last pregnancy. You're not alone and you're not dramatic. <laughs> Target and honestly, it's gonna be super easy to put together. I'm just a literal idiot. I am 26 weeks and I feel way bigger than my last pregnancy. So I'm 27 weeks and I feel a lot better than last week, but I've been having so many Braxton Hicks. So many. I'm officially 28 weeks pregnant in my third trimester. I am 29 weeks. I feel like I'm getting really big but that's fine with me. I love the baby bump. I'm 30 weeks today. The 10 week countdown begins. My baby, I'm 31 weeks in a couple days. I'm a little late making this one, but I'm 31 weeks and I feel good again. Y'all last week, a little rough. I am 32 weeks, eight weeks left, eight months pregnant. Wow. I am 33 weeks and after a month of him being breached, he is finally head down. Hallelujah. I am 34 weeks and I still feel really good. So I am 35 weeks today and starting to feel a little bit ready to not be pregnant anymore. I'm 36 weeks today. I'm getting so excited to meet him. I mostly feel good, but I'm starting to get some pains here and there. I am 37 weeks. I'm one centimeter dilated, 60% effaced. We're ready when he's ready. I'm just tired. I'm 38 weeks and I'm pretty over it, honestly, but at the same time, I'm really not ready to deliver him soon. There's a lot of different reasons that I'm not gonna get into right now, but he needs to stay in there for like another week. But my back is killing me. Lots of pressure down there. My skin feels like it's gonna rip. Um, yeah, but we're hanging in there and we're excited to meet him. I am 39 weeks and tested positive for COVID a couple days ago. So that's awesome. I kind of feel like shit. I feel better now. The other day was pretty horrendous, but I feel a little bit better now. If I wasn't sick, I would probably feel totally fine. I have no clue when this baby is coming, but I'm officially at the point where I'm like, you know what, just, just get out just get out. I'm ready to meet you. I'm ready to move on and recover. He seems pretty low. Maybe we'll meet him soon. Hi. <laughs> you got the best lips just like your brother. <laughs> yes, you do. You look so much like him. He's gonna love you. Oh my 
my gosh, he's gonna love one. Oh, I know, I'll make two. There's Show the me cry. Two. Yes, let's get all those boogers out. I know. <laughs> Oh, take it all those boogers out. It's your birthday. The next one is a lot more fun. <laughs> oh, you are a perfect little peanut. Any bigger and we were not going to make it. <laughs> okay. Daddy, are you going to cut in three? Okay. Are you doing the delay? Yes, we just milked all of that stuff into him because it was wrapped around his neck. So we wanted to get all of that good blood back in. Hi, Mama. So precious. <laughs> Sweetheart, um, see if you can get that blood. Just this one right here. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> It's like a twin. Yeah. I mean, he looks just like him. How big was Bentley when he was born? Six twelve. Yeah, I think he's a little bigger. Twenty one years old. day. Little feet just don't want to get in there. <laughs> um, that's very normal, okay? You said red and brown? Yes, because what I sucked up. out of him is a little bit bloody. Okay. Um, and so if you start to notice that, I just don't want you to panic about it, okay? Mm -hmm. It's from delivery. Okay. Um, so Candace, he has a little bit of mild retraction. Everything else looks good. So what does that mean? He's pulling, so when I'm looking at him over there on the warmer, he's pulling these muscles right underneath his rib cage in to help expand his lungs all the way. It's a sign that they're working a little bit harder to breathe, but it's usually something that can resolve with a little bit of snuggling and it's just transitional because they're getting all that fluid just out of figuring out how yep. to breathe. Yep, he's not doing any of the other things that show us that he's in distress, so it's just something we'll keep an eye on for right now. He's here. He's so here. So much happened so quickly. <laughs> yeah, it was like Julie got here, popped your water, and then... Yeah. Okay, so let's see. So I was having the pain in my right side, not even really because of the epidural. Like, not working. It was just because of his position, and he was pushing on that side. And his skin is perfect. It's so solid. So is Booger's. So that was happening, and then let's see. So she got here and checked me, and I was 10 centimeters, so we just needed my water to break. So she broke my water. And then right after she broke my water, we just started pushing, right? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. I don't, did we, did we ever say, like, about the throwing up or anything? Oh, I don't think so. Oh my goodness, so like right before all that happened, I started feeling like I was gonna pass out. Like I did not feel right. And then I threw up a lot, kind of, low key. But then I felt like 20 million times better after that. But that whole scenario made his heart rate drop like a lot. Like I think it, they said it was in like the 60s. Yeah. Like, it dro like he dropped. So that was really scary. But then it came back up and I had to lay on my left side. And then I laid there until I was 10 centimeters and then we're caught up to what I just said. So then she broke my water. And we started pushing. Honestly, it was really hard to feel, like, the pushing. It was so yeah. hard. Like, it, I, my pushing kept going to my head. I was trying so hard to put it in my butt. Yeah. But it kept going to my head, and I think it's because I'm so numb. Because we had pushed yeah. the button, like, three fucking times. Because we thought my epidural wasn't working. Yeah. But it wasn't even that. It was his shoulder. Should have known. Should have known. Especially with, like, where it was yeah. hurting. It just felt different because of... Yeah, and your yeah. tailbone was in the way. Yeah, and so then my tailbone was in the way, so he couldn't, like, come out, right? Like, he was getting stuck, kind of, I guess. Yeah, with his head not turning around. Yeah, and he was facing the wrong way. I mean, like, he was sunny side up. instead. Like, his face was facing the ceiling instead of facing the ground. So they need more space, more diameter to get out when it's facing up like that. So she was trying to stick her hand in there and rotate him around. And it just wasn't working at first. He looks, he looks knocked. He sleeps just like Bentley and I. 
He's so cute. But his heart rate kept dropping with like each contraction. And so then in between, she would have her like hand in there like massaging his heart rate back to a good heart rate. But every contraction was dropping. So it was like he needed to come out like now where we were gonna have to try using forceps and if that didn't work, then C-section. And that was scary, just like in the middle of pushing to have to like talk about that, but she has to like make me aware, you know? Yeah. But that was really scary, but I also think that she was like, not using that information, but I don't have a better word for it, but like. She was, she was trying like, to make you, She was trying you, to get yeah. me to like push, push harder. Push harder. Like, and she was funny because she was like telling me to like get mad at you and like just do whatever I could to push harder. But. Six pounds, 14 ounces. But yeah, I was only pushing for like 20, 30 minutes. And honestly, it felt good. Like, like is the it relief. didn't hurt this time? Yeah, well, and once his head, like when y'all were talking about like his eyebrows and stuff, like I could start to feel like how close he was. And it felt uh, good. Yeah. It really did. But I have a second degree internal tear, no external tear this time. So we'll see how that healing goes. But I'm still kind of shaky. Um... But yeah, six pounds, fourteen ounces, twenty-one and a half say inches. His name yet because I don't know how I want to. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know how I want to do it, but he's six pounds, fourteen ounces, and he was twenty-one and a half inches long. Mm-hmm. And two ounces bigger. Oh my gosh, I didn't even say such a big part of like the other like heart rate dropping situation. His cord was wrapped mm -hmm. around his mm -hmm. neck while all of that mess was happening. So he just had a lot of a lot of obstacles, and he was kind of purple when he came out. He came out making noise, but not crying. Yeah. And she got him crying, but we're still having to watch his breathing a little bit. He's having a little bit of retractions, just trying to figure it out. He latched really well both sides. He's a superstar. Yeah. Breastfeeding. It's about an hour and a half after he's born right now. Really already? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's nine. Oh, that was just so crazy. What what else is there? Anything else? I mean, I think that's it, sweetie. Welcome to the world. Happy birthday. Oh, what time was he born at? 7.47. Did you already say that? You did? No. Didn't you? Oh, he was born at 7.47. That was so just crazy. about an hour after Bentley was born. No, almost. He looks just like Bentley, especially. Yeah. His big old lips. His little hand oh, is so He cute. is knocked. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, looks he looks just, just like, like Bentley. Bentley. I can't, I, if I look at him too long, I'm literally going to cry. Oh my goodness, he's so perfect. My first meal is Chipotle. Who's surprised? Nobody in this room. It looks delicious. Is there, did anything else happen? Nothing happened, right? I just wanted to show everybody that I got food. I haven't eaten anything today, really. I had an English muffin. That's what I had. And a Pop-Tart I wasn't supposed to have. I was, like, laboring in the hospital. And, like, the nurse came in. I was like, am I allowed to eat this? She was like, no. Nope. <laughs> she was like, we'll pretend I didn't see that. I was like, okay.